Now that my birthday has come and gone, and I'm my birthday, my birthday, my birthday, you guys, to death, I guess I can pull out the fall colors in the orange. I'm going to start off with the bright orange, though, and this beautiful glueless beauty. This one today comes from Bofox Hair. They sent over this gorgeous, gorgeous girl, and she's a deep curly wig in 26 inches. I'll give you more details in just a moment, but let's go ahead and get to the tutorial. Jumping right into it, this is our gorgeous, gorgeous girl straight out of the box. I'll show you the packaging and all the goodies they provided to Towards the end of the video but just get a load of the curl pattern or wave pattern and how beautiful she is now this one here is a wear and go and it's pre-parted as a center part of course you can change up the parting and here is a look at the inside construction of the cap i love it when there's no combs at the nape it just gives a little bit more comfort and here is the tag that was provided this one is 26 inches in length deep curly 4 by 6 lace and it's 180 percent density here i was trying to figure out which powder would work best i did opt for the darker shade and it was spot on to my complexion but i tried to use this powder brush and it definitely didn't have enough punch so I pulled out my old faithful kabuki brush and as you guys can see it tints my wig cap like a dream. Now I'm going to do the same step on the inside of the lace. I'm going to go ahead and tint the lace and again this is just a Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Powder. And I like to warm up the lace so that it will look pretty much glueless. And I love to tint the lace to give a more realistic and seamless look. Now we have her on and you guys can see the hairline is absolutely gorgeous. Just tinting the lace you guys can see we are literally really good to go in the hairline i don't have to pluck i don't have to tweeze i don't have to do anything in the front and most importantly we don't have to bond her down at all so as i mentioned this one is four by six so you do get six inches of parting space going backwards i like to get my bang from my book and get the most out of the parting space while also being sure to cover up any tracks behind Here's a look at what she looks like from the back. So let's go ahead and get started on the styling process. Today I picked this up from Target and this is the Herbal Essence Mousse. And this is my first time using this product. I gave it a great little shake and I'm going to go ahead and just test out the consistency. It's nice and thick which is very different than a lot of mousse I've tried in the past. And as you guys can see if you hold it in your hand for a while it like fluffs up and gets like really thick and like cloud like. And then it'll kind of like thin down and liquidify if that makes any sense before we go ahead and start that process let's go ahead and comb the hair out i do enjoy look how good this hairline looks it's absolutely beautiful but as i was saying i do enjoy going ahead and combing out the hair first this is going to break apart that curl pattern that comes straight out of the box that way you can really really go in and get a true defined natural look it also gives you versatility like you can definitely wear the curl pattern that's straight out of the box but then you can also later after the fact go in and do your own custom style which is what i'm doing here so i did comb it out really nicely and then i went ahead and wet it down not too much and i'm going in generously with that mousse that i picked up from target and just really really saturating the hair now you can definitely use a cream product before you go ahead and add the mousse but i definitely wanted to test this one out and just literally see you know what we were working with if this is like a hit or a miss as far as the product goes always make sure that you are getting that product saturated in the middle and once i got it how i liked it i went ahead with the dimming brush and really clump those curls together this one is absolutely beautiful and i definitely love the curl pattern on her i did the opposite side off camera and as you guys can see the hair on this one is beautiful i love how flat the lace lays everything about this one is amazing and i really love the fact that i did not have to bond her down at all she's 100 percent glueless and also i did not have to do the dynamic duo you guys know when the lace is not flat enough i definitely go in with a wax stick and a hot comb and really get this area smooth but today all it took was a little water a little mousse and a brush and we are good to go next up today is going to be to go ahead and add a little bit of micro baby hair again i love a good wear and go wig where i can just wear it glueless but i do like to add those little fine thin baby hairs along the hairline just to kind of break it up so that in person in hd photo it kind of helps to conceal the lace so that even if it's not melted on any given day those little baby hairs will act as like my savior 
bit to kind of like camouflage that hairline so you can't see it because while we are slaying today i'm a mom so throughout the week this literally is going to be going on and off like a hat as i navigate school drop off and pick up as well as our extracurricular activities now that we got that together and i did use the edge control from bdacity.com we're going to go in and tint the lace for a second time this is why i typically don't tint the lace before i put a wig on because typically as one of the last steps i like to go in and tint the lace like at the very 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 end and today i'm still using that same maybelline uh, foundation powder and then i also use the corresponding foundation the liquid foundation in the parting today i got a bev and it's just a regular diet root beer and this pretty much was like the final look but of course i wasn't done i broke my diffuser so i'm just using a blow dryer right now to kind of help to dry it up a little bit i love it wet when i you know have a full day ahead of me but when i kind of want it to be like dry and not walk around with wet hair especially in a beautiful lululemon defined jacket i did go ahead and dry it so that that product doesn't transfer and ruin my jacket and then i decided to go ahead and give it a nice little trim not too much but i do find lately that when i trim my curlier hair it gives me a fuller like natural cut type of look so i wasn't necessarily worried about it being like a perfect straight across cut i kind of wanted it to be jagged and a little bit all over the place not too all over the place don't get me wrong of course if i straighten this one out i probably would need to touch up the cut but for now i really liked what it did to the hair and it gave it like a sexy look by just taking off an inch or two then i went in with my bio silk and just went ahead and add a little bit of moisture to the ends because i did use a mousse i wanted to make sure it didn't get too crunchy and i really love the way that mousse worked today now the ends look so much better and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks as a half up half down also keep in mind that we did remain 100 percent glueless with this one we didn't bond anything down or make it tacky at all here is a packaging from bofox there's this beautiful box and it also has a peekaboo front as well as their social media handles on the back inside it's like a drawer like effect and they did include some goodies here are your hd wig caps and they did include not one pack but two they also gave me this melt belt as well as a pack of lashes and this is the dust bag the wig came in so thank you guys so much if you survived this far into the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe because you know you want to be a part of the tribe glueless wear lace wear i love 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 this beautiful tea curly wig you can find a direct link to her in the description box thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches